the fudgy dude. Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of... What is this? <laughs> Prison A! <laughs> Alright guys, um, I've been making some money in this shop. Everybody's been selling me emerald block stacks for 20 million. And I'm reselling it for 40 million, which is a really, really, really cheap price on the server. Which means that people are obviously going to buy it. And then I've been ranking up. And I think I ranked up to X now. And I'm on rank X. I just did rank ups, and we need another seven, seven hundred seventy-seven billion in order to uh, actually make it back to. Oh, somebody just gave me a. What is this? What is this? How much money is he giving me, Matthew? Oh my gosh! These people are telling me to add. I'm not adding you to my plot. I'm not stupid. You're gonna steal all my stuff and run away. I don't know you. You don't know me. Matthew, are you still buying this stuff? So, I, as I told you guys in the last episode, I was not... I told myself that I was going to stop using other people's OP shops and kind of just try to use my own and uh, use the stuff that people sell me. So, I'm trying to make a quick profit. I am D-Field the entrepreneur right now, trying to buy and resell uh, for a quick profits to everybody. So, that's what I'm kind of doing to level up right now. So, a lot of off-camera mining work is what I've been doing and then a lot of... Uh, selling and whatnot so we're gonna go ahead and take a quick peek inside um we're gonna take a quick peek inside the actual donation chest so all of you people who've been donating to my little hoppers over here let's go ahead and check exactly how much we have we have so much stuff here holy crap so we're just gonna have to get, go ahead and grab everything just a bunch of god apples Ooh, hardened clay i might actually use that hardened clay uh, thank you, thank you. Oh, this guy's giving me something. Sex bots. <laughs> thank you, Eli and the craft. Thank you for that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here, guys, and then we're gonna go ahead to the next part of the video where I will be talking about the topic of the day. If you guys are enjoying so far, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in one second. Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of OP Prison and guys, business has been booming. Like there's just an insane amount of support and I've, uh, I kind of told you guys in the last episode that, well not really the last episode, but the last couple, that I've had this little OP shop where I'm kind of just buying and selling stuff over and over again. Buying for cheap and then selling it, reselling it for a little bit of a profit. And a lot of people are actually just buying from my shop now. And uh, I'm kind of, I've kind of just been repeating this, uh, this process over and over again. Kind of um, ranking up and getting the money. So my balance right now is, uh, can I even read this? 223 million wait no what is this hold on one two three one two three one two three so i have 22 billion three hundred ninety nine million to twenty three thousand six hundred seventy four okay so if i do slash rank up i don't have enough yet to even go to the next rank so i'm already in rank uh let's see i'm in rank y so the last episode you guys probably watched i was in rank x and i i, I managed to actually uh keep on reselling so i've been playing a lot of off camera if you guys play on dgpvp.com you guys will notice that i'm kind of on a lot and i'm not really recording because i kind of there's a lot to record or there's a lot to do but a lot of this stuff is really just off camera work which is i'm, I'm fine with doing off camera work and uh everybody i love talking to all the people on the server everybody seems very very nice and stuff and uh lot lots of donations lots of uh lots of people donating to my little donations chest and some some people even paying me small amounts of money which is always 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 appreciated but right before this video starts guys let's try to hit 200 likes <laughs> on this video and uh i will continue a prison series i'll probably be ending up uh moving to the archon very shortly we should be getting our prison server up very very soon so but for until then we'll be playing on the server trying to get to rank z before i do get on out of here but as you guys can see people just empty these chests all day and all i all i gotta do is kind of people sell it to me for 20 million and i'm kind of just uh refilling it over here and then hoping that some people buy it for the higher price so i'm kind of selling it like a lot of people use my my uh buy sign like a lot of people buy these emerald blocks for me because i do sell for a lot cheaper than a, a majority of the people on the actual server so that's kind of why i think business is booing other than me being a youtuber on the server so i really really love uh being able to interact with everybody here Every, the community here is just fantastic so if you guys 
haven't checked out the server come ahead go ahead and play it's one of the best things you guys can do and it's really it's a really really fun op prison server to play on and uh we'll be changing it up to normal prison once we hop onto the archon but that'll be time for another story guys do not worry about that and uh yeah we're gonna talk about uh two topics today i asked right before i started recording i asked a couple people and uh aaron goldcrafter he's on the server right now aaron goldcrafter proposed a good topic for me to talk about today and i'm kind of gonna brush upon that and a little bit of other stuff so we're gonna kind of just jump right straight into it so in the background i'll probably just be uh fixing my chest emptying some stuff i'm not gonna be doing any pvp today because i, I just really want to get to rank z that's like my main goal i don't care about uh, I don't care too much about all of the, uh, ooh, this is a boss pickaxe, I'm keeping that. So, like, mo some of the enchantments are really, really, uh, it's not, like, worth it. Ooh, this is from Cheese, and I'm gonna use that. Uh, but some of them aren't really worth it, because they're, like, lower level enchants than I already have. So, I kind of just give them out to the people who are at my plot currently. So, that's what I'm planning on doing. But, yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna talk about the two topics that, uh, well, not really two. It's kind of a bunch of topics, but I'll kind of... Uh, brush up on everything a little bit and uh, we'll just try to go from there so the very first thing that I kind of want to talk about or one of the questions that you guys were asking in the comment section or and proposed to me that I answer was how to get your channel noticed and um, honestly guys there's a lot of things that you could do in order to get your channel noticed a lot of them are looked down upon upon like use like uh, bigger youtubers I guess you could say look down upon certain stuff when it comes to advertising channels but um, when it boils down to it guys there's not really a way for you to advertise via a big channels uh, comment section because honestly guys if you guys are spamming a, a famous youtubers comment sections it, it really makes you look bad and makes you look really really desperate to try to get even one or two subs so I would suggest not doing that I mean if you were in the recording with a with the youtuber that you're commenting on that's different or if you're trying to support them that's different but if you're simply commenting to kind of tell people to just check out your channel and all of that stuff I honestly don't think that's a, the one of the best things to do guys because it's it's rude first of all because you're just advertising um, on a bigger youtuber server hoping or a bigger youtubers channel hoping that you'll get noticed but it's not it's not really respect it's not you're not giving respect to the channel owner themselves so I wouldn't really recommend doing that if you guys I mean you, some people do do that and are successful with it but uh, overall I just don't think that it's a very uh, good idea in order to kind of expand your channel even more than it already is so uh, that's kind of my take on that stuff um, the, the some of the ways that you guys could get your channel noticed without doing any of that sort of stuff is probably to try to just get into recordings with bigger youtubers who are um, openly willing to invite random people into their into their recording group or either into their uh, friend group it's really really difficult though because uh, most of the really really popular friend groups now like I'm not gonna name any names but just most of the popular friends group now they're very very closed off and that's because they already have their core recording group for that specific uh, you know for either Minecraft or mini games or all that stuff so honestly guys do not beg do not plead those types of YouTubers to join their channel or to uh, get it into a recording of them it just really makes you look desperate it makes you look immature when you do that and the best way to kind of uh, if you wanted to get into a recording with a bigger youtuber I think that your best bet would probably be to try to get into their friend circle via other means and what I mean is um, you know so obviously Minecraft is not the only game that some people play or maybe there's a uh, like UHC events that you could team up with people in there's a lot of different ways that you could be get onto good terms with people before you actually offer them or ask them whether or not they want to record with you so like what really grinds my gears is when you know some person just followed me on Twitter or some person just started to watch my videos and then in the comment section like I know I will I read all my comments if you guys aren't aware I don't reply to all of them sometimes because I don't have the time to reply to hundreds and hundreds of comments but I do read all of them and I love read or listening to your guys's feedback but one of the thing that bothers me the most is when somebody who's just new to my channel has no idea like hasn't watched me from the beginning just asks me to be in a recording and I'm like I don't know you enough to try to give you that publicity even I mean I'm not trying to be a bad person that's just kind of the mindset of any youtuber nowadays it's like I don't want to help you if 
if I don't know you sort of thing. It's um, it's re it's really harsh to kind of put it in that term, but really guys, it's like, why would I record with someone that I don't really know? I don't know how good their commentary is. So the way to kind of fix that problem is if you obviously uh, get into good terms with the person first, and that could either be, be by like playing other games with them or just talking with them over Skype or over TeamSpeak. Um, you guys can meet a lot of YouTubers on like on separate types of TeamSpeaks. Like I know that the uh, MCSG community has a fantastic TeamSpeak, and I've met a lot of my friends on there. And you guys should check out the MCSG, like any any TeamSpeaks of any major servers, and you guys might get a chance to uh, meet some of those players that you kind of want to make connections with. So. I mean, it's really, really hard to make uh, those connections and then to get your channel noticed via that way. But that's probably, if you want to put the effort into it, you you want to put yourself out there and try to get your videos noticed. Then make an effort to kind of try to find those people that you want to try to make connections with. It's obviously you're not going to always be successful because some players or some YouTubers aren't open to accepting new people into their group just because they've already got a set strong core group of people to record with and it's just it's just their pref preference so you can't really uh you can't really blame them for that and i'm not i'm not bashing anybody about that it's just it's simply how business on youtube works guys just just think about it that way and hopefully you guys do understand that and uh let's see if there's anyone else in my plots someone sell me emerald blocks i'll love you forever <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about with like getting your channel noticed Just kind of try to make a friends group guys like honestly speaking The best thing you can do for your channel is try to find a core recording group of people to record with And I'm not saying aim for the high youtubers because honestly It's gonna be very 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 unlikely that they'll be willing to record with somebody very smaller because that's just how That's just how it works guys. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to put any people down But that's just how the business in YouTube works and it's honestly you guys should try to find some youtubers who record the same content as you as you do but also kind of um they have a positive attitude on things they're not negative when they're recording and they're they, they give good commentary just find the people that kind of fit into your specific um into your specific, uh, what, you, what do you call it? It's like basically your specific type of commentating style. It's very, very difficult to find those people, but once you find those people, it's really, really fun to record with those people over and over and over again. So make sure you guys do keep that in mind when you're trying to look for people to record with. Just make sure you have positive people, positive outlooks, and all of that good stuff, guys, when you're looking for a recording group. Keep that in mind and you guys will be golden. There's not much else for me to say about that, really because um, it, everybody gets started on YouTube a different way. Some people are more fortunate than others and some people kind of start rough and then they hit their break, their big break and then all of a sudden they can get really, 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 um, really, really prop popular. So it's really just a luck of the draw sort of thing when it comes to getting popular on YouTube, getting noticed. But obviously guys, the amount of work that you put in to your YouTube channel will obviously show when it comes to um, when it comes to your channel getting bigger and your channel getting noticed and another thing that I want to brush up on is right before I kind of end this video or kind of uh, go through the rest of the video I'm not really sure how long it is right now I forgot to start a timer but basically um, there's I've, I've seen a lot of channels who have the potential to grow but the, the, the thing that is keeping them back is kind of the content that they put out or just their overall uh, I guess you could say the overall display of their channel and what I'm talking about is uh, I'm not talking about anyone in general but I'm just talking about things that I've seen in the past that happened and things that I would like people to fix in order for them to get better at their YouTubes and really the first thing I want to mention in this topic is kind of uh, your channel graphics and what I mean by that is some people don't take the time to actually um, make channel graphics for their channel and it, I honestly think that it's hurting them and the reason why channel graphics is important and I'm talking about, I'm talking about thumbnails I'm talking about a YouTube avatar I'm talking about a channel banner you guys should if you guys are taking YouTube seriously you guys should try try your best to put a little bit of a money investment and get somebody you know somebody who can draw somebody who can make uh, graphics to kind of make your channel look more appealing and the reason is if you're looking at YouTube channels and all of a sudden the YouTube channel has no graphics has um, not really rendered thumbnails or no thumbnails at all it's really really it's kind of like a turnoff when it comes to looking at channels and if you guys notice all of the big youtubers they use a specific type of 
you know, a specific type of thumbnail for a specific uh, series or something, just something along those lines. Just if you guys have the pic like a plain Minecraft picture as your thumbnail, you are not going to attract a big audience. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. And I, you guys probably, if you guys are just starting out on YouTube, you might not have the funds to kind of, uh, to kind of. Uh, I don't know how you could say it, but to kind of fund all of those things where you can pay a lot of people, you know, $10 or something to make a, a simple banner just to make your channel look a lot neater. And it really does make a big difference, guys. You guys might think that, oh, he's probably just saying this because uh, people would get paid and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, guys, it's really, really one of those things that you want to kind of keep in mind when it comes to your channel because the, the display of your channel, like your channel layout itself is kind of the very, very first thing that people see when they when they click on your YouTube channel and obviously you first impressions are what make or break somebody subscribing and you know if you could if you could spend that extra a little bit of an extra money to kind of um, to kind of try to get people to to notice your channel just to have thumbnails out there it's really a, one of those investments that you guys need to be making so keep that in mind guys when you guys are starting out your youtube channel in general and if you guys want you know high quality graphics you don't honestly have to pay too much for it or you can even learn yourself there's a lot of tutorials on youtube and that's kind of what i did for my channel and hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit i hope i'm i hope i'm sorry if i was talking too fast through it but i'm kind of just uh speaking from my mind when it comes to this sort of stuff so make sure you guys have all your graphics channels done um, if you guys do do that, it's it makes your channel so much more easier to get noticed And honestly guys just make that one initial investment and you are on your way to uh, Starting to grow your channel. So thank you guys for watching this quick episode of OP prison I'm kind of just trying to rank up to Z not really doing anything much other than reselling all my emerald blocks as I said here But thank you guys for watching and if you guys did learn something new about YouTube or if you guys if I changed your outlook on how you should be taking your YouTube channel make sure you guys hit that like button i would truly truly appreciate it helps out the videos and also helps out my channel but thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys hit that like button as i said this is d field and we will see you guys later